Columbus high school upperclassmen now have the opportunity to get involved with government and become stewards in their community. Today on City Chat, Council Member Shayla Favor is here to talk about the details of the Columbus Youth Council program and how students can get involved. Council Member Favor, it is so great to have you on the show today. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. Looking forward to this conversation. Yeah, um, I'm excited to talk about the Columbus Youth Council program that you launched. And um, let's just go ahead and get into it. What distinguishes the Columbus Youth Program, um, the council program from other programs throughout the city? Well, this program is really focused on providing our youth, our juniors and seniors with an opportunity uh, to, to learn about uh, their local government, uh, to, to learn about how they can become uh, civically engaged um, and become uh, better stewards in their community, to become leaders in their community. Um, and so we are attempting to do that uh, by uh, providing opportunities and exposure uh, for the young folks with uh, leaders in our various different departments, uh, engaging them with community-led uh, activities, um, and uh, hopefully having a, a capstone project uh, that the students can work on and present to the members of uh, Columbus City Council. Uh, so once again, just providing our students with an opportunity and exposure uh, so they can get an idea about how local government works and how they can be the change that they want to see. Yeah. Um, how how can students apply for this program? Yes, if you go to um, Columbus uh, City uh, Council, and I believe it's Columbus forward slash Columbus Youth Council or Google uh, Columbus Youth Council, uh, the application should pop up. Um, and if you have any questions in the interim, uh, hopefully we can insert uh, my team's information here, uh, but you can reach out to uh, my assistant, uh, Anissa Lieben uh, or Tynesha Harden, uh, and they can answer any questions uh, that you have. Right now, we're really focused on engagement. Uh, so if you have nieces, nephews, daughters, uh, uh, grandchildren, spread the word, uh, let them know that this program is out there. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I remember when you first launched this program um, and uh, at first it was exclusive to Columbus City's uh, school students only. Can you talk about why it's it was so important to you to expand um, who is eligible to get into this program? Yeah, it, you know, it was really important for us to to open up um, the, the, the eligibility, if you will, uh, because we understand uh, that all of our students, you know, who live within the, the, the boundaries of Columbus, right? Um, they have friends who live outside of Columbus um, or, or they're interacting outside and they're networking. Uh, and when you think about what leadership really does look like, it doesn't just take place uh, within your own city. Uh, in Columbus, we, we take a regional approach when it comes to housing and it comes to infrastructure. I wanna be able to demonstrate to our young people um, how they can collaborate beyond their four walls, uh, if you will. And I think by us opening it up and providing this opportunity to other youth um, outside of Columbus, um, kind of it, it helps to, to uh, bring that point home. When you are, you know, reviewing the applicants or going through some of the, the people that the students that are applying for this, what is it that you're looking for? And what would you say, you know, like w to the person that is wanting to do this, you know, what is government, you know, what kind of skills or passions do you need to have in order to, um, to enter this program? You know, I, I would tell uh, our young folks to uh, be authentic, uh, be genuine in their application. Um, there is no one model uh, for a government worker or somebody who cares about their community. Um, they come in all shapes and sizes. And so we want you to bring your best self uh, to the youth council. And so if this is something that interests you, if you've ever thought about government in, in, in any type of way, or you're just, you're, you're just interested and learning more, go ahead and submit your application and don't worry about uh, writing what you think people want to hear. Just write what you believe um, is important to you um, and uh, you know we'll see what happens. Yeah, that's really exciting. Um, why, why did you decide to launch Columbus Youth Council and you know why is it so important and, and where was all this like inspiration and this motivation coming from? 
Yeah, you know, I, I think about uh, the fact that um, as a young, uh, as a young lady growing up, and not having uh, very many uh, attorneys uh, in in my um, in my world, right? And folks that I could look up to. Uh, one of the reasons why I kind of got interested in um, law in the first place is because I saw an actress play one on TV, and I thought it was so cool. And I, I do believe that you, it's really hard to be what you can't see. And uh, I think that our youth um, really, uh, we, we do them a disservice uh, when we don't provide them with opportunities uh, and exposure uh, to different fields. And so selfishly, I think about, you know, what type of uh, difference it could have made in my life if there was a program like that that was out there. And, you know, obviously being now in this place of service and thinking about what we can do uh, to make it better for the next generation of, of leaders. Uh, because folks like myself and, and folks that have been um, in service for, you know, their entire lives, they won't be here forever. And so what are we doing to prepare the next generation of leaders? I think it starts with programs like this. Um, Columbus Youth Council isn't the only program out there, uh, but it is one of the tools in the toolbox that we can use uh, to educate our, our youth, to activate our youth, to get them involved, uh, to, to uh, provide them with a safe space to let their voice be heard. You know, one of the things that we heard in 2020 um, and what we saw was youth, you know, standing up um, in our streets, uh, crying out for racial uh, uh, reform, uh, for environmental justice reform. Um, and, and it is up to us as uh, the leaders right now uh, to meet the demand of the moment. And I think this is one way we can do that. That's, that's great. Thank you, council member. Um, what skills and opportunities uh, will, you know, people that are in the program, what will they gain and what will they learn from being in this program? Yeah, so I, I think that you're absolutely going to learn some leadership skills. Uh, you're going to, to learn how to, uh, to, to, to speak to folks, to, to communicate your ideas. Uh, to communicate your uh, things that you're passionate about. You're gonna learn how to work a, in a collaborative way. Um, I think that oftentimes in our society, we think, you know, you, you gotta go at it alone. In government, you can't do that, right? You, you gotta learn how to, um, you know, build consensus across the aisle, if you will. And so teaching young folks how to do that at an early age is, is so incredibly important. Time management. Um, is another great skill. Obviously, this is taking place during the school year. And so some of our, our youth uh, members will uh, be involved in sports and they've got their regular school curriculum involved. So learning how to manage your time, um, just a few skills that, that students will learn. But ultimately, like anything in life, you get out what you put into it. Uh, so we're really looking for students that are ready to be sponges, ready to learn all that they can uh, and uh, apply it into the their careers. Thank you for um, just creating this program and this opportunity for uh, the youth. It's really great. And we're, we're City of Columbus is really lucky to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much for the opportunity to spread the word a little bit more. I'm Josie Smith. Thanks for watching City Chat on CTV.